I'm Dr. Karine Pakrasi, Director of Ophthalmology in Medanta, Gurgaon and Delhi. Today we are talking about corneal blindness. This is a very big topic but I'm going to be very quick and just give you the important aspects of it. The cornea as we know is the way the eye meets the external environment. This cornea here protects the eye from everything that comes from the outside. With the help of your eyelids, it keeps getting washed out and it keeps getting lubricated with your tear film. So it is important to talk about the tear film when we talk about the cornea because these are not separate entities, they are one. So your tear film is one of the most important things that results in changes in the cornea. First and foremost, everything happens because the tear film is disturbed. So what are the causes? Any cause that will result in a decrease or a denudation in your tear film will definitely affect the cornea. So if you are a contact lens wearer, be very careful to always lubricate your eyes once you take your contact lenses off. Change your contact lenses whenever required and make sure that you don't have any problems in your corneal surface due to your contact lenses. If ignored, they can lead to problems. Just about anything can affect the cornea because it affects the tear film. Many medication, Whenever you're taking a medication, find out if it has any effect on your eyes when you are feeling that your eyes are extraordinarily dry or where you feel that your eyes are burning and your eyes are watering. Many times people will say, how can I have dry eyes when my eyes are watering? So this is one way that the body protects itself. Whenever your eyes are burning, it sends messages to your brain which then results in a very clear watery tear which comes which is your secondary tear film or your emotional tear film in order to protect your cornea because the cornea if you can imagine it is like the lens of your glasses your glass lens even if it has a little speck on it will disturb your vision why because anything which disturbs the shape of the cornea or disturbs the free transmission of light from your cornea will result in corneal blindness. Then of course, depending on what it is that you have, if you have an infection that will result in a scarring, the scarring will result in corneal blindness. So everything starts from your tear film denuding. So even if you have an infection like a viral conjunctivitis, it can cause corneal blinding but that is temporary and if you ignore it and if you don't take care of it it may result in your tear film getting denuded and your cornea getting scarred and once there is scarring of the cornea then you can have corneal blindness so it can also be due to trauma wherever your corneal curvature is disturbed by healing which takes place naturally, it results in a scar. That scar may either prohibit the light from entering your eye or it may distort it. So both of these cause blurring of vision due to the cornea, which is called corneal blindness. So how do we treat it? Depending on the grades, it can be only lubrication, which if you do through the day and you restore the tear film and the smoothness of the cornea, your blurring will go away. Or if it is blindness due to a scar, then that scar has to be removed by corneal surgery and corneal replacement.